um, since I started running when I was five years old, I've had dreams of running professionally, setting records, winning the Olympic gold medal, and being one of the best in the world. I've always blindly believed that I was good enough to achieve those things. As I've gotten older, I've put in more time, I've put in more miles, I've become more dedicated, and I've learned to genuinely love this sport. It's what brings me the most joy, and it's where I feel the most me. I've always done it the right way. I've put my head down, and I've just worked at being better year after year. I've stayed patient, and I've trusted that the work and consistency would show. I still have all of the same dreams I had when I was five, and I've been incredibly fortunate to have been able to achieve some of them. I still have others that I'm working towards. But the thing that truly drives me is the love and joy I get from what I do and the curiosity to find out what my potential is. On January 14th, 2021, I received an email from the Athletics Integrity Unit, the AIU, informing me a drug testing sample that I provided on December 15th, 2020, has returned as an adverse analytical finding for a steroid called Nandrolone, and that I was therefore subject to an immediately immediate provisional suspension. When I got that email, I, I had to read it over about 10 times and Google what it was that I had just tested positive for. I've never even heard of Nandrolone before. I've since learned that it has been long understood by WADA, the World Anti-Doping Agency, that eating pork can lead to a false positive for Nandrolone, since certain types of pigs produce it naturally in high amounts. Pig organ meat, or pig offal, has the highest levels of Nandrolone. In the following five days after being notified, I put together a food log of everything that I consumed the week of that December 15 test. We concluded that the most likely explanation was a burrito purchased and consumed approximately 10 hours before that drug test from an authentic Mexican food truck that happens to serve pig offal near my house in Beaverton, Oregon. I notified the AIU that I believe that this was the source. Although my levels were consistent with those of subjects and studies who were tested 10 hours after eating the source, and WADA technical guidelines require the lab to consider it when analyzing Nandrolone, the lab never accounted for this possibility. They could have reported this as an atypical finding and followed up with further testing. The anti-doping experts I've reached out to say that they should have. I did everything I could to prove my innocence. I passed a polygraph test. I had my hair sampled by one of the world's foremost toxicologists. But I agreed that test proved that there was no buildup of this substance in my body, which there would have been if I had, had been taking it regularly. Nothing moved the lab from their initial SNAP decision. Uh, instead, they simply concluded that I was a cheater and that a steroid was ingested orally, but not regularly. I believe my explanation fits, this, fits, the, facts, fits the facts much better because it's true. I also believed it was dismissed without proper due process. On June 11th, I received, sorry, I received the news that the court of arbitration did not accept my explanation of what had occurred and has subsequently banned me from the sport for four years. I feel completely devastated, lost, broken, angry, confused and betrayed by the very sport that I've loved and poured myself into just to see how good I was. I wanna be very clear. I've never taken any performance enhancing substances and that includes that of which I'm being accused. I believe in the sport and I believe in pushing your body to the limit just to see where that limit is. I'm not interested in cheating. I don't do this for the accolades, money, or for people to know my name. I do this because I love it. I have so much fun doing it and it's always the best part of my day. This sport means everything to me. I believe doping is doping and cheating is weak. 
it shows a, di- a disbelief in yourself and not only shames you, but also shows a complete disregard for people that support you. I would never disrespect the sport, my competitors, my teammates, my coaches, my family, my fans, or myself in this way. I love and respect the sport too much. The drive that keeps me going is the curiosity to know how far I can push my natural limits and reach my potential. I've always wanted to be able to stand at the top of the Olympic podium with a gold medal around my neck, knowing that I did that. Now I'm not sure that I'll ever get the opportunity to truly pursue that dream. I'm going to continue to fight to prove my innocence. I will not sit down and accept a four-year ban for something that I did not and I would never do. I absolutely and I absolutely respect and wholeheartedly support the fight to catch athletes who disrespect the sport by cheating and doping, but I'm not one of them. In the meantime, I ask for respect and privacy while I continue to navigate this stressful time. As devastating as this experience has been, I feel very fortunate to have such an amazing group of people that have been fighting alongside me and supporting me throughout this nightmare. Thanks.